We're coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada this week. Hello into tomorrow fans. I'm Dave Graveline. We're on the show floor for the 2008 International Consumer Electronics Show. show floor as always here at the International CES. Into Tomorrow has been coming to you from CES every year for the past 13 years as we launch our new season. Everyone wants total control of their PC entertainment and Logitech has made that possible in a more convenient way with a new product. Here's Rob Almanza with this week's Product Spotlight CES edition highlighting the DeNovo mini keyboard. Thanks Dave. I found one of the coolest mini keyboards I've seen here at the Logitech booth at CES 2008. I'm here with Aaron. He's going to tell us a little bit about the DeNovo Mini Keyboard. How are you doing, Aaron? Great. I'm glad you guys are here to talk about this product. This is an amazing product. What we've done with this, uh, the input device is essentially built a keyboard that fits in your living room. And what that means is it's not something that's big and clunky. It's sitting in front of your beautiful uh, flat screen TV. It's something that's small, that fits in the palm of your hand, and that could potentially fit in a uh, remote control drawer. So it, we've actually done some research that said uh, wives in the household have issues with all this stuff in the, in the living room. Um, they will not object to this product at all. And on top of that, it's a beautiful looking product. Um, so essentially, it is a mini keyboard. So it's designed for um, thumb typing. Um, and you know, these days, thumb typing is a very common um, activity with, with Blackberries and, and Trios and, and the like. Um, but on top of that, we added um, a touchpad. And a touchpad similar to what you'd find in a notebook. And so it's, it's a disc, we call it a touch disc or a click pad, and you, know, you interact with it any, the way you would do with any type of touch pad. But on top of that, the magic with this product is that with um, Media Center PC mode, when you, when you uh, launch Media Center, you can click this over and it turns into a directional pad. And when you look at Media Center, it's an up, down, left, right navigation. And what we do with the arrows is simply up, down, left, right, uh, just like you do in a, um, in a DVD menu or uh, your satellite dish menu. Um, so we made it really easy for people to navigate through all the content that may be on their PC in the living room. And all of this is from the couch, so are we basically giving consumers more of an excuse to be at, stay at the couch and watch their TV or their content? Well, you know what? We're giving them what they want. And we, we focus on, when we do our research, we focus on um, the media that, that's going on right now and how uh, Logitech can help that media get to the consumer faster. Um, we have so much focus on how we interact with PCs um, this is just the next evolution of what that may be. It is a very cool looking keyboard, very easy to use. I got a quick demo earlier, and I got to say, uh, one of my favorite things here at CES. When are we going to see this out in the market? This will be coming out in the market available to consumers early March. Um, I just want to add a few other features to it. It is Bluetooth, um, so it's, it's a standard that people are familiar with, and it's very easy to use, uh, very intuitive from the get go, and you know, I hope consumers love it. Excellent. Thank you for your time, Aaron. Thank you. Look for more information about the DeNovo Mini Keyboard at Graveline.com. Back to you, Dave. Thanks, Rob. I can see why you like the DeNovo so much. Be sure and bring one home with you. Now it's time for our look back at this week in tech history. So let's toss it back to the broadcast booth. Here's Chris Graveline. 
This week in 1942, Henry Ford patented the plastic automobile, which allowed for a 30% decrease in car weight. In the year 2000, Microsoft Chairman Bill Gates announced that he would be stepping down as Microsoft Chief Executive and handing over the reins to longtime friend and company president Steve Ballmer. Gates assumed the title of Chief Software Architect. In 1896, the X-ray machine was exhibited in New York City for the first time. To see the machine, one had to pay a 25-cent admission charge. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History. This Week in Tech History is brought to you by TigerDirect.com. So for all your electronics needs, simply go to TigerDirect.com. Stay tuned for much more extensive coverage again next week on Into Tomorrow from the International CES. Meantime, I'm going to take just a little break off the show floor as Kendra will help relieve my stress of running around this one and a half million square feet of floor space. We'll see you next week. Stay tuned into tomorrow. Uh... <laughs>